Welcome to Little Spirit Productions. We only have a couple of packages to open this time on Happy Meal. And here comes the first one. This is David's Reddit gifts for Secret Santa, the last Secret Santa Reddit gifts ever. At least as far as Reddit gifts goes. They are stopping the gift exchanges this year. And um, the original creators of Reddit gifts are trying to get, um, I guess, a, a different place. They're going to do the Secret Santas. Mom's looking at me through the light ring, being silly. Um, I guess they're going to try to keep it going somewhere else other than Reddit. But I'm hoping they do. Now, this is David's Secret Santa gift, and I'm going to steal it from him because I've been wanting this one. <laughs> Oh, ooh, uh huh. Pendulum awesome. clock. Uh huh. It's one of the wooden build kits, and I've had my eye on this one for a while. <laughs> what do I have to trade you for it? <laughs> He's behind the camera right now. <laughs> but this, I've wanted this one. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. Self assembly. I wish. Self. <laughs> That's what the truck said. Assemble thyself. Hey, at least you didn't get a fourth truck. <laughs> Check out our previous Happy Meals. I'll put the links down in the, the description or maybe up in the eye up here. I think it's up here or is it over here? I'm not sure which corner. One of the corners. I think it's going to yeah, be Yeah, I think it's this one. one. Um, to, to show you that he has received two of the non-mechanical truck. It's like this, the wedding bill kits. Plus, we bought one. And I built that, I think, last year, yeah, or earlier this year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is uh, mechanical gears, so it's a working wooden pendulum clock. This is a very cool build. So that's David's Secret Santa Reddit gift, and I am so jealous. <laughs> you know what would be really funny? Yeah. I get one of those. Uh -huh. <laughs> and here comes our next package, also for David. This is his almost last Eagle Moss of DeLorean build kits. He has two more coming. And then he's also getting, I think it's seven or eight more after that that's just extra pieces to change the car into the second movie version or the third movie version. And this is going to be Kits 119, 120, and 121, and 122. Mm. Get up close so you can see here. So here is book 119. And it lists all the parts. And let's see the Parts for two exhaust pipes, which you'll you will fit into the reactor of the DeLorean. And then of course it shows the steps. And just like every book, every one of these kits and magazines for each kit. It also has behind the scenes info about the Back to the Future movies. Let me get the page turned. And then here it shows what the next kit will have, which is the very next one. Let's see. 119. That's this one. Here are the pieces. And I don't see any wires in that. Oh, I'm done with wires. Oh, you're done with wires? Okay. And here is 120. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. And this one says six vent pipes for the reactor. He's almost done as far as getting all the pieces. Now he just needs time to build, finish build, building it. 
We figure he's around kit 75, 76. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What Christopher Lloyd oh, did next. Yeah, talking about uh, Doc. Mm -hmm. So that's 120, which is this one. No screws or anything, it just snaps and blades. Yeah. Here's 20, 121. This one is. The first of the distinctive reactor exhaust cowls and pipe detail for the DeLorean. And within the next couple of months, or whenever he gets time to really start working on it again, I will be posting the videos of him building the car. Let's see this one. And there's the pipe kind of down there at the bottom. Kind of moving around. Hard to see it. And then 122. This one says, receive three veins for the left exhaust cowl, plus a connecting cable and fixing screws. The cables are the ones that are not working, right? Okay. okay. Let's Here are the pieces for 122. And that's it for the Eagle Moss this time around. We got one more package to open. I'm going to put this somewhere, David. And this Last package is extremely late. <laughs> I should have had this a couple weeks ago. This is my November Diamond Painting Club. And this one is going to be all Christmas themed. Not so sure about how I feel on Christmas themes on the five main canvas paintings, but the projects I've seen in other people's posts look interesting. If I can get this thing open. There we go. My November Diamond Painting Club. Green and red. Christmas colors. Put the diamonds off this side. I'm dying to see what you get in this kit. Me too. Especially for the canvases. Because I've already seen pictures of the projects. Get everything out here first. Uh-oh, I know what you forgot to do. What did I forget you to do? You forgot to take a picture of it all in there. <laughs> put it all back in and it fit. Yeah, it's not all going back in here the same way again. It never does. It never does, yeah. <laughs> all right. We can always hope, though. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go through the projects first. Where are all your craft gifts going to go without a nice Christmas stocking to hold them? This beautiful Christmas diamond painting stocking 
will make it obvious all the craft gifts belong to you. So I believe that is this one. Um, I think just this part is diamond painted. The candle on there. That's pretty. Yeah. There's a really big diamond in this pack. I don't know if you can see that. It's a really, whoop, there it is. Really big diamond. It's a purple one. Pinkish purple. Pink, as mom would say. So there's five different colors. Plus that big one. And then, yep, this is the stocking. And it's just that one spot that's diamond painted. The candle. Oh, that big eight? Yeah, the uh, big eight is where that purple one goes. Yeah, so. That really di big diamond. Yeah, that's what I was saying when you were saying that. Yeah. And. Uh, it's just the candle and the bow and then that big purple pinkish diamond in the middle of the bow mm -hmm. So that's gonna be a cool one and pretty quick because there's not much to it So there's that one and Diamond for that Okay, the next item is Not sure what to give this Christmas. Why not some wine wrapped in this beautiful red diamond painting wine bag? It's the perfect expression of putting love and effort into your gift so that is this one. It's got Santa Claus on there. I don't know anybody that drinks wine, really. My husband and I don't like wine. Maybe um, champagne. And I used to drink wine coolers. Haven't had any of those in a long time. And there's eight different colors. There's one really big gold one. Let's see, where would that go? Oh, it's on his hat. It's right here on the hat. So that's pretty cool. That's other than all that white, which there's a lot of white diamonds. That would be another quick one to do eventually. <laughs> and then the next item, show off your love for the holiday season with this diamond painting door plate. Hang it off your front door for everyone to admire as you welcome them into your house. So that is going to be this one. There's a little snowman family with a Christmas tree. And it's got the chain to hang it on your door. Let's see how many colors this one has. Different two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks like fifteen different colors. That one's a little more involved. Let's see, fourteen colors, I think. Nope, fifteen. Bent it wrong. There we go. Get another look at that one. That's cute. Maybe eventually I get that one done. Maybe if I next Christmas. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of time at home right now to be working on diamond paintings, unfortunately. Okay, the next item, these diamond painting star lanterns are an excellent to bring the Christmas cheer into your house. Okay, that's horrible English. <laughs> Flick the switch and see them shine brightly at night. Um, I'm not sure if that's what this one is. Yeah, this one. Okay. This is kind of like the lights that we have in the truck right now, or have had since 
Halloween around the windshield. It has this little battery box. It takes, it looks like two double A's. Yep, two double A's. And then it has little round stickers to seal when you put these together. There's a snowman. There's Santa. Get it disconnected. And there's Santa's sleigh. And I was watching a video on how to put these together earlier today. And they don't look too difficult. There's a little bit of diamond painting on each one. And then you bend and fold and stick together and then string, I guess, the lights through it. Which is part of this. So that would be an interesting, very short diamond painting project. Something else to decorate with. And this one has... Two, four, six, eight. Looks like ten colors. That won't take too long, I don't think. And the last project. Put this Christmas diamond painting in pride of place. It's a fantastic centerpiece for your Christmas decorations. The frame has an LED inside which really highlights your beautiful work on this Christmas tree. Two AA batteries not included. Hmm. I think that's what's in this box here. Yep. There's a picture. Let me show you that. It's a picture on the box. And I don't remember seeing this in any of the pictures people have been posting of their club boxes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have seen this one. This is a very cool. So that's a diamond painting. It's only on the one side. Oh, almost dropped it. Don't want to do that. Yeah, it comes out of the top. It's not sealed. I don't like that. I guess you gotta get it out of there somehow. Just like that. But yeah, it's just on the one side. There's nothing to diamond paint on the back. It says Merry Christmas and it's got a Christmas tree and some snowflakes, ornaments. So that'd be cool to do. And here's diamonds. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven different colors. I don't think that would take too long. They fold these up so weird. There we go. So that's it for the projects. Let me put this away. The, the white clip. Yeah, these are the, the legs to hold it up. It's a little light that sits on your table. Kind of like this one back here that I did and gave to mom a few months ago. I just posted that recently. Come on, go in there. Okay. So there's that one. And then we have our five canvases. This is the first of the canvas paintings. It's a couple puppies in a gift box with a Christmas tree in the background. This is number 5246. It has 37 colors and is a 40 by 30 centimeter. That's a cute Christmas canvas diamond painting. It's not wolves, but I don't think I will be getting any wolves in this set because it's all Christmas uh, canvas or, you know, the whole box is Christmas themed. The next one is Santa. And it looks like he's holding a lantern. And this one is number 5250. And it's 34 colors, 30 by 40 centimeter. The next one looks like a little Christmas tree, presents, fireplace, 
out the window at the snow. There's a teddy bear in a chair. A family living room scene. This is 5247 for the canvas number. 35 colors, 40 by 30 centimeter. There's Santa, living room scene with fireplace going. There's a puppy on the rug, teddy bear on the rug, a Christmas tree behind him, bunch of gifts. That's a cute one. And that one is 5248, 40 colors, 50 by 40 centimeter. And then we have our last canvas painting. Big Christmas tree, probably in a town center or something. A little snowy scene. That's cute. And that one is 52.49. 40 colors, 50 by 40 centimeter. So that is it for this Happy Mail and the Diamond Painting Club for November 2021. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite piece of our Happy Mail was. If you've done any diamond painting or if you've done any of the Reddit gifts exchanges over the years. Um, try to remember how many years they've been doing it. Pretty close to 20, I think. We've been doing them since 20, 2014. So this is the last Secret Santa Reddit gifts, our eighth that we've participated in. If you haven't already, make sure you smash the subscribe and bell icon so you'll get notifications when we upload new content, which will be at least one new video every single week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.